next, we're going to take a look at the vital work of the Swift Institute. Earlier this year, the Institute, in partnership with the ADGMA Research Center and sponsored by Mubadala Investment, launched an inaugural student challenge in the United Arab Emirates, ahead of the United Nations Climate Change Conference that takes place there later this year. The challenge focused on the financial sector's role in supporting the UAE's transition to a net zero economy. And we're joined now by two members of the winning team, Nirvana Amjad and Abdullah Ahmed, who are both from New York University, Abu Dhabi, and Melissa Sternberg, Global Head of Environmental, Social and Corporate Governance at SWIFT, who we got a chance to meet yesterday. Hi to all three of you. Thanks so much for joining us here in the Cyboss TV studios. Um, let's start with uh, Nirvana. Congratulations, first of all, to you. you. Uh, uh, well done on your win. Talk to us about your winning solution. Uh, how do you look to drive the UAE's transition toward a net zero economy? Well, we looked at a multi-tiered approach. The first was aimed at reducing the energy and water consumption of the UAE, specifically through cutting subsidies. We also looked at implementing a UAE-wide uh, emissions trading system, and we looked at energy audits across the UAE as well. Another part of our project focused more on specifically raising capital through mechanisms like green bonds, climate derivatives, and we also specifically looked at the ways we could use governmental incentives such as using green collateral investments through loans given by banks. And finally, we looked at a intergovernmental regulatory authority that could track all sorts of um, sustainability measures uh, across the UAE. Abdullah, congratulations to you as well, of course. Let's talk about the biggest challenge that you faced here as, as far as you're concerned. And, and would you like to develop it a little bit further? Um, so one of the main challenges that we faced um, was ensuring that the variety of the financial mechanisms that we proposed aligned with the socioeconomic fabric of the UAE. Um, so for example, proposing to increase the artificially low prices of it, electricity or oil or fuel um, to by lowering long-standing subsidies meant that we had to ensure that they were done in a, in a gradual manner so as not to impact the economic stability of the residents of the UAE. And additionally, we had to ensure that both the shorter and the longer term policies that we proposed were both feasible and self-reinforcing, um, which meant that we had to analyze how international policy making would be deployed in the UAE if we were to do that. So, for example, with the USA's Inflation Reduction Act, uh, which allotted a, a large amount of capital to electrify vehicle fleets, we had to make sure that could be feasibly done in the UAE as well. Um, yeah, so that was... Uh, I want to ask, uh, Nirvana, I'll ask you first. This is a big deal to win this challenge. Just tell me about your reaction when you found out your team had won, and, and where do you go from here? So when I found out, it was honestly very surreal because we had flown out all the way from Pakistan, firstly, so uh, took a flight for the project. And secondly, it was the day before my birthday. So generally, it was a big deal with some personal sacrifice involved. So it was really nice to see that the hard work had paid off. Um, but I think the aspects that I would want to take this project further in, or at least the personal aspects that I would like to explore, are firstly exploring the viability of the project. So specifically when an economy is, um, has relied on subsidies so heavily within the past, how do you move forward and how gradually could you take this transition? But secondly, I would be interested in the ways that uh, the net zero transition in the UA would differ from other uh, implementations within developing countries, such as South Asia, where this is where I'm from. Abdullah, I'd like to ask you the same question, really. You've succeeded here, so what's next? How do you want to take this experience uh, into the future, and, and, and what would you like to do? Oh, well, the project's been a really good introduction um, into the world of sustainable finance, um, and you know, makes me believe this is a field I want to work in more in the future. Um, so I'd like to continue with some more in-depth research and explore the intricacies of how policymaking affects SMEs and financial institutions. And also because, you know, with different parts of the world, resources are limited and policies take resources. So managing policies that pull resources versus those that can generate or redirect them um, in a balanced manner is something I'd love to look into. Uh, Melissa, let's bring you into the conversation here. Yesterday, we got a chance to talk uh, a little bit about e ESG and, and why it's so important. So can you talk to us a little bit about why initiatives like this are important for SWIFT? Yeah, I mean, research and education are key to innovation. And I think that based on um, what they've just shared, you can, you can see that, you can feel it. It's exciting. It creates hope for the future. 
Um, and we want to continue doing that. I think one of the um, key elements to t talk about is next steps, right? So they've come up with a brilliant solution. It's pretty logical, right? And we have 11,500 people across our community. So how can we take that and make it happen? Let's make the idea come to life and like, let's make the change happen. So I think that's what our role is, is, is acting as that enabler. And Melissa, uh, when you look at the UAE challenge as a whole, uh, what are your thoughts on the, the overall quality of the entries and, and does, it ah. give, does it give you hope for the future? Ah, yes, I have a five-year-old at home, so thank you both. Um, <laughs> and it's really important that we take this seriously. This is here, this is now, it's not 50 years from now. We're already seeing the impacts um, and we need people like them to come with solutions. And I think that goes back to, let's not go into silos and, and try to come up with all the different solutions. Let's put our minds together and come up with something that works and then let's do it. It really does inspire some hope because yeah. when you talk about climate change, it can feel a little bit daunting. Yeah. Uh, so, so great to see young minds at work to, to combat this. It's not too late. Uh, Nirvana Amjad and Abdullah Ahmed, both from New York University, Abu Dhabi, winners of the inaugural Swift Institute UAE Student Challenge. Melissa Sternberg, Global Head of Environmental, Social and Corporate Governance at Swift. Thanks to all three of you for taking the time to join us. Thanks. Thank Congrats you. Congrats again. <laughs> Thank you.